You can go. Now we're talking about a brief history, and in this section about history, it draws from the miseducation of the American Boys article from class. The text shows how societal expectations for masculinity have shaped and encouraged behaviors based on binary gender classifications. For example, the text says in reference to boys, but by age five or six, they've learned to knock that stuff off, at least in public, to disconnect from feelings of weakness, reject friendships with girls, or take them underground outside of school, and become more hierarchical in their behavior. The behaviors that have been crafted by society affect the career paths people take, or at least the path society expects people to take. Society has created queer expectations based on expected binary gender behaviors, such as men being strong and leaders and women being more nurturing and caring. So now going through the history, uh, we would talk about history of gender roles in the workforce starting in the 1880s, where married women have been banned from the workforce. And moving on to 1930, single women have been working in clerical or teaching jobs, cementing the stigma that these professions are women's work. In 1932, Economy Act of 1932, Section 213, requires one person in each marriage to be fired from government job. And then in 1936, uh, more pop culture in like a magazine, a poll showed that only 15% of people believed women should work a full-time job. And then 1937, after women's groups lobbying, uh, Section 213 did get repealed. And then finally in the 1940s, World War II opened up jobs for women after a large absence of men.